Hey Dave, we're here for the Academy Sports Rigs and Techniques yep. at the CCA Workbench. We're talking Wahoo. Correct. And you know, what do we like got? I said earlier, you know, if I'm if I'm going fishing offshore where I live, I'm going to catch a Wahoo. That's what I'm. That's my main thing I'm trying to catch. So pretty much everything I got out there is made to catch them. Uh, you really can't troll a whole lot of uh, monofilament where I live. Uh, mainly because of the wahoos and the king mackerels and Too the barracudas. Teeth. Too much teeth. Everything has teeth, so, you know, we don't troll much of anything out there that has just monofilament. Sometimes we'll have a maybe one or two uh, up on top, a ballyhoo with a monofilament leader on it. Uh, and, you know, a lot but of times. But that's the one they're going to eat, right? A lot of times he gets snacked on yep. and, and gets taken away. So what you're going to need to do, you know, the, the, the wahoo, his claim to fame is just being incredibly fast fish. He's got razor sharp scissor like teeth and his main mode of operandi to feed is to swim through a bait he he Slice sees it. that bait and just swims through it at full speed scissors off the tail comes back and eats what's left right. so we're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get something usually far back in that tail of that bait that's going to get a hold of that fish so that's why we you know we try to i try to uh shy away from double hook rigs in most fishing but wahoo fishing it's all right to use a couple of double hook rigs you're usually going fast enough that you're not going to be snagging much of anything else and you're, the fish that you're going to try to be catching it's okay to have a double hook i see a lot of you know a lot of these skirts a lot of times are missing correct they get off. chopped off a lot yep. you know if, uh but if you're going to be pulling lures a lot of the lures that the guys are pulling are are these kind of cone shaped lures they're bullet head they're called they really act more like a, a the hull of a boat when you're going real fast so they don't come to the surface too much you know if you put a lot of weight in them and most of them are fairly heavy right and if if they're not heavy enough they'll put a big trolling sinker out in front of it which is one of these big things here it's like you know, a medieval correct. weapon or yeah something you can there. hit somebody with that thing for sure but You'll put this out with you know 100 feet of mono before and after of it to the, about 100 pound mono to let it stretch out real good because you're going to be going, you know 12, 14 knots when they're doing that high speed trolling. Right. So there's going to be a huge shock when a big 50, 70 pound fish eats the bait at the other end when you're going that fast. You know you're going to have your drag pretty tight. They use really tight drags when they're fishing those oh, those yeah. big wahoos out there and the high speed stuff and. You know what, it, it's, it's probably a great way to do it if you're uh, trying to stack up some fish on the boat or, or you're fishing in a tournament trying to catch a great big one, but it really sucks for the guy who's trying to pull them in, the angling right. and all that. You're really commercial fishing. I mean, it's heavy, man. That's a lot of yeah, you're just pulling, this. Yeah, like you're really you pulling. To work out and with. I tell you what, I've caught a lot of wahoo without doing all that mess. Yeah. You know, you can go eight, eight knots, you can go 10 knots, and you can even pull, you know, a lot of little plugs like this. I've caught tons of, of wahoo fishing with lipless plugs. That's actually a Halco lipped plug. That's one of the, one of the kind of the big secrets up where I live and is now is these Halcos that can go 15 knots. Wow. That thing can go real. That's a, the smaller one only goes about 10, but the bigger one can go 15 knots without rolling over. Mm -hmm. So a lot of things eat that thing when it's going that fast from, you know, wahoo's not the only one, but everything will. But lipped plugs and are, are one of the things that a lot of guys will use to catch them if you can, if you can get them going fast enough. How deep is this going to run? Well, that one there will probably go 12 to 15 feet deep. You know, yep. uh, I like lipped, lipless plugs actually, and I take the treble hooks off of them. Uh, Wahoo, their mouths are so hard they can they can use the other two trebles sometimes. They get a big mouthful of those treble hooks and they can wrench them out and get out of them. They don't twist as much. And if you put some swivels on your on your uh, lipless plugs, you you know those things get bit a lot. Right. The hookup ratio is pretty crappy on them. Yeah. I mean, I see them getting pounded a lot during the day, and you know a lot of times they don't get hooked. But if you do that to them, if you take off the trebles and put on some nice swivelly single like hooks, big single hooks, if you get a hook in one of them, he can twist around and twist around and he's not going to come off there. This you has know? been, this is uh, a popular inshore stuff now too, putting these single correct, hooks. Correct, correct. Well, they've been popular. doing it like that for a long, long time. That, you know, Island Lures makes a lot of guys, the guys like to pull a lot of Island Lures for Wahoos because, you know, they have a, a lot of them have a chrome head. 
Uh, now they have rubber skirts, which are really nice, but they, you know, traditionally they've had the, the uh, hair skirts, which I think really work well. This is one of my favorite baits, the Sea Star. I like to troll it on the flat line with a ballyhoo in it. Doesn't even have to be a double hook ballyhoo, a single hook ballyhoo, I mean, right up in the wash. A wahoo is not afraid to come up into the wash and eat stuff. Like a kingfish. No, he is not. He will come up in there and eat it, and I really like to use it. Now, also, uh, alternatively, I like to have to one. Your dog. I like to yeah, exactly. I like to have one really long bait out, and I like to have a sea witch. Uh, usually even a, a heavier one this. I think this is like an ounce, yeah. but you can get an ounce and a half or a two ounce one with an orange head even I prefer, an orange and black and red, and I'll put a big swimming mullet on there on my long bait, my county line, you know, and let that thing swim with the double hook and a big weighted mullet, a big mullet, and right. that's how you catch big wahoos, you know, you'll, you'll pull those great big ones and, and try to get a hold of them. Now, Let's see, what was I talking about? Well, okay. uh, one thing you want to try also, if you don't want to use the number nine wire or the number 10 wire, the single strand, you can rig up your uh, lures with some cable. It's very flexible. Uh, the little wide range right there catches everything from sailfish to blue marlin to wahoo to everything. And if you put that cable on it, it's still very, very limber, still swims like a fish. Right. Actually, it goes straight as an arrow, doesn't swim that much. It just does the perfect thing, goes straight and lets the fish eat it. And it's a really good thing to have is, is using this little cable because you don't have to lose anything to the, sh the toothy ones. Tell me about the gaff, the gaff well, shot here. We were talking you wanna, about that. You want to hit that, you want to hit your wahoo for in the head uh, for two reasons. One, you want to try to, you don't want to mess up any of that beautiful meat that he's got. Yep. Two, you know, you want to kill him really quick. Usually a head shot's a good killer shot. But most importantly, when you lift that fish up into the boat, and you're lifting him up over the side, the head is pointing up and away from you. The teeth and are going those the teeth way. are going yeah. away. That's a good so thing. if you get him in, if you have him in the tail or in the midsection and you pull him over the side and his head falls down That's and he dangerous. comes off the, off the gaff, he can do terrible damage to your lower legs from your right. knee down or wherever he comes in contact with you. So just make sure that you have a place for the fish to go in the box before you stick the gaff Put in. Put him in the box, yeah. I like that. Always. So much fun, always does a great job, doesn't he Dave? He's so good. And he's looking so good in <laughs> his coat says. So Anyways, make sure Feel you subscribe to our channel, like and comment, and we'll see you guys next week. Check it Bye. out. Bye, every Thursday. See ya. See ya.